A riveting new HBO documentary details what filmmakers call the dark side of the Church of Scientology. Here's Mike Rinder, is a former Scientologist who spent years defending Scientology. He's featured in the HBO documentary film Going Clear, Scientology and the Prison of Belief, which will debut March 29th on HBO. Mark, thank you very much for being here. Uh, and so the, it's interesting, The Prison of Belief, based on uh, a book by a, by a Pulitzer Prize winning author who's featured in the documentary as well, shot by an Academy Award winner. Um, and already the Church of Scientology has come out swinging against you, which we'll get to in a moment. What does that mean, The Prison of Belief? It means, Megan, that Scientology has a means or a way of getting people to believe that they have the answers to everything, that uh, your very future depends upon your activities and, and commitment to Scientology and remaining a dedicated and committed member of the church. And to stray from it is uh, something that will result in, in very dire consequences. When so. I I watched the documentary, and I apologize for calling you Mark, I watched the docu documentary, Mike, and it, it talks about how um, there is allegedly abuse against members who want to leave the church, there's blackmail, there is allegedly tapping of people's phones who try to speak out against Scientology, that some are put in a, a sort of prison uh, called the hole where they're not free to leave, monitoring by security guards, and, and an absolute commitment not to speak out against the religion, a commitment you say you were actually one of the enforcers of for years. Yes, that's correct, Megan. I mean, it's ugly. There is no question, and that, that's the reason why I and others are speaking out, because we feel that the abuses that are ongoing within the Church of Scientology need to have uh, the light of day uh, shone on them and be seen for what they really are, because there is a, a perception that the church tries to put forward that everything is all uh, butterflies and... and uh, unicorns with the Church of Scientology and yet on the other hand there are a lot of things that happen that are, are very uh, egregious violations of human rights and things that well, it would uh, be illegal things that would be illegal as well I mean you're talking it, not you but the, the film talks about Tom Cruise who's the most famous Scientologist and his marriage to Nicole Kidman, suggesting that uh, that marriage was divided by the church because she was not a Scientologist, her father was a psychologist, and they don't believe in that. And that when that at one point her phones were tapped, all of which the church has denied. Did they engage in these tactics? Yes, absolutely, Megan. This this is the the uh, pattern and practice of the church in dealing with uh, things and people that they feel are not. Uh, in step with them or are in disagreement or uh, seeking to expose what's going on. I mean, you've seen the reaction that the church, I'm sure that you were flooded with uh, all sorts of information about every single person that ever speaks out about They're Scientology They're extremely litigious. Liar. I mean, the viewers should know this. We, we did a segment on them a few years ago and we got threatened. I mean, they love to threaten if you say anything about them, even if you're not a Scientologist. But they're really upset with you. Moments before we came on the air, this comes at 846. Uh, dear Ms. Kelly, I heard you may be doing a program with Mike Reinder uh, regarding the documentary. Why are you going ahead with this with a self-admitted liar who is admitted under oath he's paid $175 an hour by litigious plaintiffs attorneys. He left the church in disgrace for severe and gross malfeasance. These are vicious, strident falsehoods. And that is part of the course for Scientology. And in fact, that sort of reaction and response is what proves much of what's shown in the film. Look, Megan, they say that about every single person. Alex Gibney, a, an Academy Award winning documentarian, has now become a bigot and a propagandist. Lawrence Wright, a Pulitzer Prize winning author, is also a bigot and gets everything wrong. Nobody who says anything about Scientology that they don't like they go is anything in their I'm mind. I'm up against a heartbreak. I've got 30 seconds. Tell us why we should care. Why should people care? You should care because there are people that are being hurt and there are abuses that are going on and they're being hidden behind the First Amendment. The church claims all sorts of religious protection, which certainly 
is a good thing or a great thing in this yeah. country, but it's bad when abuses and people are abused and that is covered up by reason of nobody Understood. being willing to take it on. The church uh, denies the allegations in the film, but the film is shocking. It airs on Sunday night. Mike, thank you.